Hello football coaches and football players, my name is Football Coach Allen and today I'm going to give you some flag football drills that you can run in your next football tryout. Now, some of these drills will be good for regular football tryouts and then obviously all of them are going to be good for flag football. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so this first drill is very simple. What we're trying to look for is somebody who can throw the ball and somebody who knows how to run routes and is able to catch the ball. So, basically, all we're looking to do is have three pylons and basically players running up the sideline, quarterbacks on the hash marks, and then these two pylons could be 10, 15, 20 yards apart. It really comes down to the age group that you're coaching. So, what we're going to be having is player one, he's going to be running up, cutting directly right right where that pylon is just like they could be doing in game and then we're gonna have player one throwing the football to player one red now keeping in mind that we want to see these players or at least players who are throwing the football being able to lead the player with the pass and able to get it within that player's reach so what I mean by that is once player one comes off of that cut, we want that ball to lead him to where he is going on the field. We do not want him reaching behind him because, of course, if he's reaching behind him in game, there is a high probability of the other team picking off your pass. So you really don't want that. Now in this second drill, of course, this could be used in full contact football as well instead of pulling flags you would be obviously trying to take down or move out of bounds the opposing player and what I mean by that is the boundary lines are these whoops these two yardage marks so roughly 10 to 15 yards apart and basically what we're trying to have is player one red he is trying to score over here on player one blue so they will be running up towards each other. Player one, however, he is going to try and do some kind of a defensive stance to try and, I would say, stutter step towards player one red. That way, he is able to react fast enough to be able to go in either direction to be able to pull his flags. Now, if player one red goes out of bounds, that would be a negative for him, and also, if player one blue was able to stutter step properly, he was able to react fast enough, you're now seeing somebody who may be really good on defense. And then once player one goes through, he gets through, or if he, even if he doesn't get through, basically football gets passed to the next player in line and they switch lines so that you can see who's good at running, who's good at then also holding onto the ball, but also who is able to play defense the best. In that way, if you're running in a league that has basically everyone playing at once, offense and defense, then you're able to see where they can be stacked up on defense. And also, basically, all uh, you're also looking at the fact that if you're in a league that has a lot of players and you're able to have an offensive line and a defensive line separate, this is also a great drill to be able to differentiate between the players who would be great for either one. Okay, so now in this next drill, it's a zigzag type drill, and then the player with the ball, which is going to be player two red, he is going to try and zigzag through touching the pylons with his hand, and then he's going to curl around, and he has to get to this pylon before four blue touches all those pylons and comes back down as well to try and stop player two red. Now, at this point, obviously great cardio, but... You're now seeing a player who is trying to now catch up to player two to be able to pull his flags. This is a great drill to run to see the stamina, the cardio ability, as well as the defensive and offensive running ability to get to that pylon before the other player so that he's able to take his flags or beat that defensive player to that pylon. Now these are all three great drills to run with your team. So if you're running a tryout very soon, definitely incorporate these and you're going to be able to see the offensive and defensive ability of your players as well as the cardio ability too, which is fantastic to know. 
Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time in another one of our football plays, drills, or skills videos.